Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Hobart Hurricanes, um, opening episode for them for the season, and uh, it's been dismal. Uh, the batting has not uh, delivered, uh, we're missing a few batsmen of course as well, and that's ser severely hurting us. We batted okay in this first game, 157 for 6 against the uh, Brisbane Heat, uh, Saunders 67 and Urteza, uh the Bangladesh 19 year old star that we signed. Uh, 37. Uh, Myers, another sign that we've got as well, guys, from England. Uh, they bowled pretty well up front. Mirren and Sampson um, were pretty disciplined. The rest of the bowlers we took apart a wee bit. In response, 158 for four with Owen 81 at the top and Max Bryant 55 in the middle. Franks bowled well, one for 25. Does everyone else just far too expensive and we're really never in the game? Uh, their next game uh, was against the uh, Melbourne side. Uh, we were bowled out for 145, Hanson with a late uh, 35, but we did pretty well from 82 for 5 to get to that total. Uh, Duckworth, 4 for 39, and 3 for 12. So the Melbourne uh, Stars, uh, Cruz to victory, 9 wicket win, uh, Redfern, 72, Matthew, uh, 49. Uh, I thought uh, Franks bowled quite well with no reward, and Adams, uh, 1 for 25, pick of the bowlers. Third game, um, we got a win against the Sydney Thunder. Posted 181 for 8 with Meyer 75. We put him and Urteza uh, up the order. And it paid off with Meyer getting the score along with Cole. Uh, 3 for 30 for Stock. Uh, 3 for 36 for Ellis. And 2 for 33 for Anthony. They got pretty close in the end. 177 for 8. But no one got a substantial score. We were able to just chip away every now and then. And um, Adams 2 for 28 was the pick of our um, bowlers there. But um, the wins were few and far between. Just weren't quite good enough. Um, we just collapsed so many times this season. 126 for 8 in this game uh, against Perth. Uh, Siddle and Senga uh, bowled quite well, and so did Corey. And just comfortable run chases, like uh, professional batsmen. Just a bowling attack that just hasn't fired all season either. Hasn't helped. At the time we played the Sydney Sixers, who were at the bottom of the table at one point, uh, Completely, um, utterly put a convincing display on Felipe, 74. And yeah, we, again, just couldn't get any wickets. Maxwell, 2 for 32, was okay. And 121 all out, Saunders and Webster um, tried to rescue the innings from 51 for 5, but the damage was done up front. Graves, 3 for 19, 3 for 14 for Rudder, and a complete dominant display there. Next up, Melbourne, um, Renegades. Uh, we posted a really impressive 187 for two. Uh, 73 off 33 deliveries for a teaser. And 30 to Cole, Saunders and Meyer. And I thought that was a competitive total. Proved not to be. Uh, they were scoring well over 10 and over. Hind with a magnificent 100. And his 100th game, uh, too, for uh, T20 cricket. Yeah, the uh, dismal results just kept on coming. 138 all out. Um, only um, a late surge from uh, Pollard got us to 138. After being 102 for 8. Uh, Pettifer, uh, 3 for 16 and 2 for 19 for Duckworth. But um, again, just we can't get wickets um, at the moment. And Wilson and Williamson took advantage of that. Perth, um, 131 for 5. They bowled brilliantly. Uh, Myers, 60 off 61 deliveries. And Hanson was 21 off 22. Just couldn't melt anything. Uh, we're 74 for 5 too. We had to try and... Um, Probably score 20, 30 more, and it may have been a bit more challenging, but 133 for 4 off 14.5 indicated to me that the wicket probably was a 200 score um, required to win. I thought Barnes bowled quite well, 1 for 19, and Adams during the middle there, but just, again, the bowling um, was not good enough. Played the Adelaide Strikers, best bowling performance of the season, 131 all out. Uh, he top score for them with 36. But Barnes, finally Barnes is in some form. 4 for 18. Uh, Franks 3 for 24. And Hanson 2 for 27. Made it tough going though. Uh, it was only a really a good effort from Townsend and Spence. And Barnes 18 off 10. That got us home in the end there. Rickman 3 for 22. Good to see he's in form. And hopefully he's in form for when we go to Tasmania in the next uh, episode. But yeah, good, good wee run chase there uh, for us. Again, um, Sydney Red were at the bottom at the time. 194 for four. Uh, Milne and Prescott, 74 apiece. Three for 44 for Maxwell, but the bowling just can't take more than four wickets, it seems. 
And uh, yeah, that's a pretty disappointing card with this year. The wickets, but monks all their bowlers. Final game um, before we start the episode today. Uh, 127 for six. Uh, a poor start with the bat. I uh, mean, it was just a recovery um, mode, and they bowled well enough. Samson four for 16. None for 15 for Mirren was outstanding, along with Coates. And uh, just the theme. Easy run chase for the uh, team there. So, yeah, today's game against Adelaide. Um, aiming for one win in the episode, just to finish the season off quite strong. Just lacking a bit in the bowling department. We had to bowl our best bowlers. None of them are in form. I might as well um, chuck the ball to Henry, open up the bowling with him. And, yeah, try and get bowlers that are uh, in form. The batting's been um, on and off during games, but let's see how well we do today. Uh, we'll bowl first. Doesn't matter what we do. We're going to be chasing heavily, I think, anyway. Let's get a good start. None for 27 after 4 is okay. Can we sneak a wicket? None for 45 after 6. Okay, I'm going to try something a bit different today. I'm going to bring the spinner in, Admire. Did look at his uh, career. He's played um, some 2020 stuff for uh, the uh, Jamaican side in the West Indies League. So I was just going to try something a bit different in this episode we haven't tried them too much in uh this season and we have to try something if we are going to get a result so they're doing okay 89 with that loss after 10 we've bowled reasonably well just um the two mire um overs went for quite a bit for 14 a piece probably bowled one too many i think it was one over for nine after his first slot jeepers that spin options just real weak for us incredibly um, needs to be worked on the next couple of seasons. It's 116 without loss after 12. Both Mirren and Chandler are bowling, uh, not bowling, batting exceptionally well. Just um, keeping the pressure fully on. Henry gets a deserved wicket. He gets the wicket of Chandler. And Maxwell will get the wicket of Stone. We've made a few breakthroughs. Those two bowled pretty well, but it's just the other bowlers that have been... Um, Taken to, taken to task uh, today. So to keep trying to get wickets. Run out mirror and that's a bonus. I'm gonna i I'm gonna bowl Adams now. See if Adams can pick up a wicket. I'm gonna try a bit of a field that just clogs up one side. Target that hidden zone there. Good bowling, where the world's gone. Good good spell from Adams. Uh I'm really happy with that. Uh, right, so the spin. <laughs> the spin. What a dreadful um, spin attack we've got. That's our real weakness in the squad. As spinners, if I'd rate them out of um, 100, probably be about 25 or 30. These guys just can't take wickets. Though Hansen's taken the odd wicket during the season, but it's just few and far between. I would have got over there, though. From 116 without loss um, to getting them to 175 for 9 was a good comeback, you know, like uh, decent bowling performances there. A um, couple of twofers. Good bowling from Henry as well. We've just got to bat well enough. Like, are we good enough? Yeah, win of the season. That's a terrible start. It's a golden duck for Cole. Brings um, the Englishman to the wicket, who's had a couple of 50s uh, this season. Looks like a real prospect for England. Suspect he will get picked up for England. The Bangladesh guy had that one magnificent uh, 73, showing he's got a weave of the goods. Can he get a few runs? Would be pleasing. Down the ground. Just got to build a partnership first and foremost. Get ourselves in the contest and then try and get about 60 off the last six. 44 for three, though. Lot riding on Townsend his performances he has put performances in the past but he is gone it brings um the experience kevin spence to the wickets played over 150 games for hobart average of just over 20. He felt he could have contributed a few more runs in his career for the outside but today's the day um would love him to get a score so 58 for four hobart chasing a quite a decent total on the board from the adelaide uh, strikers Need 11.8. No, we have to go. Got to get this rate um, back under 11. Thought Spencer's dropped then. He's obviously um, 
drop the delivery. 12.8 and over. This is pretty grim. They're just clogged. They're just dotting up pretty well. Still got the Bangladeshi there. Uh, he can go big, but we need him to go pretty soon. I think he's tried to go big. He's been caught. Out for 35 off 33. And the slump continues uh, for the Hobart Hurricanes. 13 off 20. Uh, Spence is not good enough. You need to be 33, 43 off 20. Just chewing up deliveries. And then getting himself out. 16 and over required. 80 for 5 after 14. Just not really in the game. Uh, that big opening partnership took us out. I'm just hoping... Um, we learn from this again this season. Like, we're getting better at um, identifying some good potential players. They're just not um, delivering their spins. Gone for 25 of 29 deliveries. Brings Simon Barnes to the wicket. He's listed as an all-rounder, but he's really just um, an out-and-out -out bowler. You can um, swing the willow for um, a couple of boundaries and usually gets out. Hundred for six. Lovely shot from Barnes. And another another aspect of uh, this team too is we're missing some really quality batsmen that have been picked for Australia quite regularly over the years. They're in our squad, uh, Colin and Beckett. Uh, they would add an immense amount of um, experience and class to this attack. Uh, we're batting um, effort. Just we've got, we've had to plug the gap with two um, overseas players to try and bolster that area up. And in hindsight, I probably should have went one bowler um, and one bowling overseas player to try and um, get these guys going a bit better. But uh, good discipline performance from the Adelaide Strikers. Really, they were too good on the day, and we've been all out for 114. Game, oh well. So our record's only two wins and ten losses. Can we get at least two wins and beat the Sydney Sixers? That'd be a goal. Playing top of the table. Let's cause a ruckus, uh, say the least. Fortunately, Australia, New Zealand, and India are in a tournament, so we're not going to get our um, access to our best bowler, um, Ben Fielding. Uh, just looking at the career of Ben Fielding very quickly. Played a wee bit over the world as well. He's pretty um, good. 61 games, um, 82 wickets at average of 23. That's respectful. And yeah, of course you got Beckett and Colin averaging nearly um, 30 with strike rates over 140. That's just class that I would really like. Stick with the team. Uh, we will bat first and hopefully um, it stays overcast for us. Just me, um, guys, just simply stepping up. It's just not good enough. A lot of them have got a lot of experience between them. Just want um, someone delivering on this um, episode, Russ. We don't want to. We don't want to see three losses here. We want to see um, a good uh, Hobart uh, team play. It's good cricket so far. Thirty-six without loss. Jafar gets the wicket of a Saunders. Richard Meyer. At the wicket now and he's gone for zero and is this the almighty Hobart collapse that we've had all season just lost three quick wickets uh, we had a good start Cole's got to stay in now like he's got to play a bit, bit more responsible Townsend classy player Townsend they've given him a lot of work to do lovely shot four runs shots that is gone for four seventy five for three you were in an okay position but it's just those three wickets meant we've got to rebuild a punch I and mean, it's just taken up a few deliveries just to get us to this point eighty three for three after eleven just over sevens per over, 7.4. Pick up the rate a wee bit now. This is where we'll probably lose a few. Plays and misses. It's tying us up a wee bit. The 
the number one side. But 50 to Cole, 35 to Townsend. Not too much better to come. Spence can bet a little bit to his credit, but only an average of 20 for a guy that's had a great first class uh, career. And he's a decent ish one day batsman. I was expecting more from him. Lovely shot from Cole. Four overs left. Can we get 40 runs? 160. Someone's going to have to play that special knock. Lovely shot from Spence. Back to bat boundaries. 10 off the uh, first four. A few edges there. Got to put pressure on this side. Early wickets against these guys would be good. 17 off 11 is okay from Spence. Hanson, four. Lovely. Two edges for four. We'll take them. Lovely shot. Six runs. Brings up the 150. Huge over here for the um, Hobart side. Can we get to 170 now? That should be our goal. And a miss. Got over, only two off it, so 160 is our objective. But we're just going to fall short of that. Okay, so they are chasing 160 exactly for win. Uh, Cole bid the whole inning. 79 54 batted quite well. I thought Townsend was good. Contributions from Spence and Hanson. Probably not enough, but uh, we've given ourselves some hope. Um, early wickets are a key. Early wicket for Maxwell. And an early wicket for Henry. Gets a wicket of French. It's good. Just got to keep taking them. Going to bowl these guys up front three overs apiece. 43 for three after six. I'm going to keep the field up. I'm going to back these guys to get us the wickets and get us a victory against top of the table. 88 for 4 after 12. Uh, we'll bowl the um, Bangladeshi um, fella. I don't trust Hanson too much. So I'm going to try and get away with bowling him for 2 overs. I think 2 overs is realistic for him. We'll just go with the defensive field. Two overs for 17. That's a wee bit too expensive. I think they've got us here well and truly beaten. No wickets through the window. Uh, Kingsley uh, with a 50 there is just taking it out of the um, realm of possibility of us winning. Although it's 8.3 and over. We get another good over. Okay, 20 off 12. The acid's on. I am going to put the field out. Make them hit one side. 10 off 6. Okay. We fought hard here. Uh, to our credit, what sort of field would work for us? Might go with the old, um, you got to hit me down the ground sort of thing. Yeah, that might work. Got the major zones covered. Right, see if you can do it. Think he think they've done it. Great run chase from the Melbourne Renegades. And it just sees us fall short. Needed just that one big over in the, I believe it's the 19th. If we got to 170, we would have had enough. Well, uh, we're going into the last game now against the second place side, the Sydney Thunder. We haven't had the access to Becker or Colin all season. It was a better effort, though, from the guys. Classy player of Rooney in that order. They've got a long tail, though. If we get a few early wickets up, get our tails up. Doing quite good. Henry's bowled okay in the last few games. Gonna bring, take the field out now. Adams to Reed got the wickets. Double wicket, double breakthrough. And seven for three. Had to bowl um, Hanson now. Gonna save those guys for the 19th and 20th over. So expensive um, at the moment, Hanson. I have to work on his bowling. Well, hopefully his um, state works on his bowling a wee bit. Because that's what's letting us down. Just that quality spinner through the middle, you know, that can get like one or two wickets and keep the heat on. Um, so it's 187 for five. Probably should be too much for us. Hole's gone cheaply. Meyer. 
It's going to be a um, hard review at the end of the season um, for the um, Hobart Hurricanes. I've had too many seasons like this too. Like we've got, we've got to be better. It's got to simply be better. Like there's quality in the side. I just know there is. Like you identify the players quite well. They just don't fire on the day. Like we see good enough fields. All right, Ken Meyer finished the season well for us. 28 off 10. Needs support though. Ken Saunders provided for him. No, he's gone 28 off 11. That 28 off 11 needs to be 78 off 30 or something. Like, win the game for us. We asked for you. Terra He's been disappointing. Uh, he's had that he had that one great night, thought he was gonna be a good player, and um, hasn't done anything um, really since. Is he worth investing in though? 23 off 15. Four boundaries in that innings. Some good shots from some of the batsmen. A couple of little little cameos, but again, um, nowhere near enough. It's also been a story of collapses for these guys this season. Got to rectify that. So we're we're kind of in this run, Chase. 89 for 3, 101 at. Well, 97 at 8.8. .8. That's gettable. Although, um, probably our last really good partnership that could get us um, anywhere. Spence can do it a wee bit. So hopefully he does it today. Oh, he's run out Spence. Come on. We're better, better than that. 122 for 5. Ch trying to chase... So we're best around, but Lee Hansen proved in one of the games he can score. Eight off three. That's th two boundaries, as I said in the previous game, and he gets himself out. Good work. Sort of thing that you pull your hair out on, really. Uh, still in the run, Chase. Of course, Townsend's going to have to farm the strike, but you never know. Big over here would be good. It's gone for 52 off 31. Really the lone ranger in this innings. Um, 154 or out. Uh, just the middle would have crumbled when it didn't really need to. We had plenty of overs left. So we finished the season at, um, with the wooden spoon. Two wins, 12 losses. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Like, uh, there were moments there where Hobart were okay and then we're just out and out dreadful and outplayed. But smash the like button and um, of course guys, um, we will give you the next game that we'll be playing. And probably this um, season ender, Tasmania versus New South Wales. So I'll catch you guys then.